Okay. So at one point, you actually joined South Coast Music Group, mm -hmm. which yeah. is uh, where the baby is located. Yeah, I'm still signed to South Coast. You still are? Yeah. yeah. You know, I was just talking to your manager about this before you, you walked in the room, but we interviewed the baby last January, yeah. which was right before he signed Interscope and just blew up like crazy. Yeah, so what you saying? I'm about to blow up too? Yeah. I mean, I sure. am saying that actually. <laughs> but sure. I guess right around that time is when you signed. Uh -huh. Right, right around last January, February. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so leading up to it, were you already touring? Were did you have big songs? I mean, what what was happening leading up to, to um, that? I don't even think I had a big song yet. I think I dropped my song Red Lights while I was on tour. Right, I dropped my song Red Lights while I was on tour. Okay, so once you joined South Coast, then they started putting you on tour and everything. Yeah, they started putting me on tour. South Coast, like. South Coast really, like, if you ask me, is a major label. Like, they do everything that major labels do. So I don't, yeah. Yeah, I mean, the baby got the number one song in the country right now. Yeah. So clearly they're doing, Man, like they, <laughs> they're doing their South thing South Coast right really now. go crazy. But, like, we, you know, underdogs. Okay. And uh, were you on tour with Polo G? Yeah. At that time? Mm hmm Now, something interesting happened during yeah. that tour. Yeah. Walk me through it. You know? Something happened. Um, something broke out. Things happened. Okay, because you got you Fist. did an interview about that. Yeah, Fist got the flying. Well, can you can you take me through the whole story? Honestly, I don't know what happened. I like I was just on stage, and next thing I know, everybody started fighting. So once everybody started fighting, only thing I know is the fight too. So you got into a fight on stage? Nah, I ain't get into a fight on stage. I just got a couple kicks, man. Okay. That one really. But wasn't there a situation with some girls, though? Uh, ah, ah. That's what I'm talking about. Ah. <laughs> Take me through that situation. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was a crazy story. I'm Honestly, I met some girls. Um, I don't really know how to explain that story. I, I met some girls on tour, you know. Uh, you were with Polo G? Yeah, I was with Polo, but like I wasn't with Polo. It was just all of us. Okay. You know what I mean, and Polo was there, but Polo ended up going to the room. Everybody ended up like going to their rooms. Like, all right, we leaving. Left with some girls. Long story short, beforehand we got into it with somebody. You know, we got into it with some dudes. Really, ain't get into it with them. You know, people tried to fake tough. Ah, right, whatever, whatever. Let it pass. Um. Left with some girls by myself, two girls by myself. Like not thinking, I'd, I'd never do that again though. But like left with two girls by myself, went to one spot, couldn't eat there, went to another spot, ended up running to the dudes again. And yeah, like, I don't, I don't know. That's, you know, nothing really happened. Okay. Seen the dudes again, that's all. Right, I guess there's, some guns who got pulled out or the girls had a gun or something like that? I don't know. Okay. Something crazy. Yeah, something crazy. Was that the craziest thing that happened on tour? Um, Not really? <laughs> crazy stuff be happening on tour. Life is what you make of it. And I be making life. All right. I be making. I be turned up. I mean, what was it like to go from being, you know, known in your city to suddenly being on a nationwide tour where, I mean, not everyone knows you. You know, you're kind of a new artist with a more established set of artists because you also were on tour with like, was it Moneybag Yo, Summer mm -hmm. Walker, The Baby? Yeah, yeah I and did. They're, and they're, they're buzzing at this point. Everything happened so fast. Everything happened so fast. Like, you don't even notice it. It's just like boom, 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 boom. Everything be happening. And like, once you get there, it's like, you so used to it now, cause now it's your life. Yeah. So like, I don't know, like it, but yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely different. I can remember, I can remember it used to call me local and excuse me, I got, I'm, I'm trying to stop saying, cause that's not a good word. Mm -hmm. I gotta I got stop saying that. So if y'all out there and y'all listening, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I, I know I told y'all I'm working on that, so. I'm gonna do better, but I feel like um, I I can remember females used to call me local. 
they can't even part their lips is calling me local no more. Like I would I wish you would. Like you talking about local, like. But I probably don't f your cousin in Alabama. <laughs> and you talking about I'm local. So yeah, I don't even Well, I mean, everyone starts out local. Yeah. Tell me one artist. People don't, doesn't, people doesn't... don't see the process though. Yeah. You know? People don't see the process. That's all that it is. And people, people, people got to understand the process. Like things don't happen overnight, and if it do happen overnight, it's no substance. It's, it's nothing at the bottom. It's, it's like a pyramid with nothing at the bottom. Sooner yeah. or later, it's gonna collapse. You know what I mean, so people who you ever see an artist like seem like they took off overnight, they ain't gonna last long. I give them like a year at most. I mean, once you started to buzz and started. You know, you signed and you started going on tour and everything else like that. Yeah. That kind of raises your profile yeah. in your city. They do. And with having a bigger buzz in your city, mm -hmm. you also get the jealousy yeah. and the hatred. Most definitely. You know, you talk about a place like Raleigh. Mm -hmm. I mean, what what rappers are from Raleigh? Nobody. Yeah. It's a it's a few. Because it's, a, cause it's a baby few. from I Charlotte. I, I wouldn't even say that. It's a few local artists right now, you know, because everybody got to go through that local... Yeah. The stage, but other than that, like we never had no big artists, not that I know of. Right. So you get a situation where it's like, oh, I knew that dude in high school. He ain't yeah. this, he ain't that. Ain't oh, like, I was hotter like than him. And he just, you know, you, you, you get a, you know, Boosie calls it hypnotized with hatred. And they develop envy because they go home. They get out the car with, they, with, with, with their friend, with their other partner, and he listening to your music. They walk in the house. They girl listening to your music. They go downstairs. The kids doing a dance to your music. Now they are hypnotized with hatred. They are hypnotized with hatred. They didn't go downstairs. They niece ain't didn't even spoke to them when they walk in the house. They just sang and boosted. They niece ain't didn't say, hey, uncle, or nothing. They just sang and boosted. They get back in the car and go to the store. With they with their cousin in a the car, they say, "Oh, that's a car like Boosie. That's a car like Boosie." Okay, they let son get in the car. Then I want some change like Boosie. All right, now you hypnotized with hatred. I'm tired of hearing about him. I'm tired of hearing about this guy. I know what I'm gonna do, and that's how it start, man. They get hypnotized. Yeah. Hypnotized with hatred. You see that interview? <laughs> yeah. I was thinking of it before. <laughs> I rock with Boosie, man. Shout out to Boosie, man. One yeah, of, shout one out to my Boosie. Favorite, my favorite regular guest on the show. Yeah. Did you get that? Did you feel like people in your town, you get the jealousy, you get the anger? Yeah, yeah. You definitely do. I, I, honestly, I won't lie. I feel like I'm most hated in my town. You hear that all the time. I feel you like hear, I'm you hear hated. this, you know, and and you go down this. Well, I'm, but it's like it's like you got no choice to be most hated when you the most loved. Like yeah. when you most loved, you got no choice but to be most hated. When do you still do shows in your city? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, of course. At the end of the day, it, it's still people that I motivate in my city. You know. Yeah. So like it's like what you gonna do? Tell me I can't keep putting on for the city when ain't none of you. Decide to do it. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nah, I'm I'm gonna always put on for the city. At the end of the day, I'm gonna always give back to the city. I'm gonna always do what I can for the city. I was out protesting with my city by myself mm. with no security. Dope. Like, I ain't I'm not trying to hear all that. I ain't too good. And, and I wish I would. So I mean, did you have some drama from nah. from locals once? Nah, it's, it, I, and that's another thing. I never really had like I never really had beef in my city. Like if it was if it was ever a problem, it was from somebody hating. It was about a girl. 